Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today we are doing the decade switch. That's right, we are switching to the 80s. We are finally here and I am super excited. So I used to always include the decades change in my normal gameplay and with this, all of that, I used to do it as one all together, but those videos tended to be really, really long and it became hard for me to edit them down. So I decided to separate the switch from the actual gameplay story, all that. We started doing this back in the 70s was the first time. And so now we're at the 80s. This is the second time doing it this way. What we're gonna do is right now, we're gonna go over the challenge rules of what is going to be changing with this decade. And then we're gonna go over all of my sims is how i've changed them to look like more 80s style and if i had done any housing decoration and changes there we'll go over those as well first up is these rules so all the rules from the 1970s will still stand and with the following changes so these are in addition to those rules now i know in the 70s the only thing that was really mattered is that those that were born in the 70s have to take certain traits i believe there's three of them now all of the 80s the children born in the 80s will also have to take these traits so any sim born during this decade so this is going to be catherine's babies uh her their catherine and tyrell's children will have to take one of these following traits so we have ambitious self-assured materialistic snob or perfectionist so they have to take one of those so first up here is home building computers are now allowed for gaming you may use gaming consoles with televisions okay so we'll definitely have to get that and then television time restriction is changed from 6 a.m to 2 a.m and then marble flooring is now allowed fitness equipment including the training bot and using the tv for fitness is now allowed yes we are going to be working out to you know those good old 80s exercise TV programs they used to have on all the time. Yes, we are. We're gonna be doing that for sure. Um, in easy listening and backyard music are now allowed. Politism and sports TV channels are now allowed. If your Sims are environmentally conscious, uh, you may now use the off the grid lot trait. I guess I don't, this one does not make so much sense to me. I feel like off the grid lot trait would have been like ages ago, ages ago. Um, but that's fine. It's, you know, I know the 80s is when we started getting, becoming more environmentally aware and, you know, all of the solar panels and all that kind of stuff started coming out. I don't know, maybe when we get into a regular house, as we evolve our little family, we may use the off uh, the grid lot. We may get really green. As we get closer to the 90s, we might start to get like that. So I'm thinking, we'll see. Um, bed upgrades are now allowed. Hot pots are now allowed, which is cool. Handheld vacuum cleaners are available. These are the careers that are all now allowed. I believe they're pretty much the same, except that some of them have opened up to both sexes i think athlete was just male and is now female and male and i think there's a there's a few other ones and i also know like politics is the same way politics was only male now it's both these are the part-time jobs that are allowed so then we have this one sim in this generation must be in the business career so it doesn't say that it has to be our heir but someone in this generation has to be in the business career. I'm thinking it will probably be our heir. Um, we'll see, I don't know who the heir is going to be. I have really, it's a choice that we'll have to decide as we develop and we have babies. It could be the firstborn, it could be the fourthborn, who knows? It could be the secondborn. It could be anybody, it could be male, it could be female, it could be anybody. We just have to see, but they were go they're gonna have to take this business career, which I have not yet to do, or at least I haven't really finished, the, you know, gotten to the top of the business career. Financial, the Vietnam um, War veterans can receive a pension of 250 million 
the only one that this would apply to would be Felicia and we do not co control her we do not do anything with her this doesn't really apply anymore to us the holidays so we are gonna have to do this we're gonna have to add this new holiday which is Martin Luther King Day which is gonna be winter Monday and we, these are the things no decorations just a day day off traditions remember we have to remembrance tell stories art and music spirit and then babies must be at the hospital be born at the hospital ball pits are now allowed domesticated hedgehogs are a thing and you can own a hedgehog uh, but still not a bulba bulbous is that how you say it bulba i don't know how you say this but it's still not allowed so we can get a hedgehog and the music production table is allowed so those are the rules for the 1980s so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and jump into the game and i'm gonna show you guys all of the makeovers now i have done just our family i've done the main family family but then I've done Susan's family and Felicia so we're gonna look at all of these sims so it's not just Tyrell and Catherine and Maria it's all of them okay so first up we have here is Susan and her kids so I had a lot of I had a struggle with Susan I had a real struggle with her um so we have obviously changed her haircut she's got this short shorter kind of I was looking for like a feathered style so for in the 1980s for older more mature ladies uh, a shorter haircut was more in style bobs were in style um or feathered looks and I thought that this hairstyle looked a little bit more um feathered kind of and I thought it looked pretty nice on her, so we went with it. I had a hard time because a lot of the shorter hairstyles with her did not look right with her face shape and her her elderly. <laughs> I have taken off her skin, as you can see here. I've taken off her skin. But then we also gave her these glasses. In the 80s, the glasses definitely got more like square or more like this shape to it. The, the, the rim is a little bit thinner than it, they would be. They were a little bit thicker back then. I know the glasses I had were kind of like this, but they were definitely thicker framed. Um, but we went with this, this is what we got. And I just left her makeup kind of light, not real heavy since she is an elder. And for her everyday, I just went with this. They wore a lot of scarves. Blazers were also a big thing in the 80s. So I just went with the blazer and these shorter pants. I don't, I, I had a hard time. Jeans did not look right on her. And I felt like um, elderly people or older adults didn't wear jeans too much um, in the 80s. Some did probably. Um, um, all the ones that I was ever exposed to didn't. So like my grandma, she wore pants, she wore slacks. They called these slacks. Um, these are similar to what she would have worn, she had worn um, that I can remember or has seen in pictures. So I just put these on her in some flats, some little old lady flats. So that's her every day. Here is her formal. Again, I was just thinking for more mature. So we've got like this blazer and a nice little dress. It probably should be longer, but this is what I got. I don't have any really custom content that looks right on older Sims. And I also, let me just say, I really don't like how the elders look in this game. I don't like it at all. These clothes do not fit right. They look weird across the midsection. Like why, why? I don't understand why they have to look so slouchy in that. It's like not all elders are like this. Anyways, that's my little rant for that. So that is her formal. This is her sportswear again. I just put on some sweatpants and t-shirt, a longer t-shirt. And here is her sleepwear. We just got like a little jumpsuit kind of thing, purple. And then here is her party. <laughs> again, it's an old lady dress. Um, and so it's, it's what I got to work with. I really don't like the elders in this game. I wish they were better. Here's her swimsuit. This is gonna be her hot weather wear. Um, just like a pullover dress. And then here is her cold weather, which is all right. It's, she's styling. She's a styling grandma. So that is Susan. And then here's Angie. So this is definitely the stereotypical 80s. This is the kind of stuff I wore when I was in, you know, the mid to late 80s. The mini skirts were a thing. Pumps were a thing. If you wore a mini skirt, you wore pumps with it. <laughs> and some some girls did wear like the little frilly socks, the ankle socks that had the little frill cuff. Um, I think I actually have some, but I didn't put them on her. I never wore them personally, but I know some did. Some also wore 
fishnet stockings with them. Again, I never did, but some did. But this is her outfit. Her makeup, you'll see, we've got the side ponytail, but we also have the bright blue eyeshadow that is iconic to the 80s. Bright blue, bright pink, bright purples, bright everything. We wore the bright lipstick, the bright pink, hot pink lipstick. We wore a lot of blush, although I have hers toned down a little bit. And we have the side ponytail, of course. Now this hair did not come with a scrunchie. Some of the hairs that you'll see, um, I do have scrunchies, scrunchies with them, but this is her every day. I think I have two outfits for her actually. Um, this is one outfit for her. This is another outfit. If you remember, <laughs> <laughs> bib overalls. I think it was in the late 80s, closer to the 90s. We wore bib overalls, but you didn't wear them up uh, both on the straps didn't both go over your shoulders. You had one folded down like this. Oh, yes. I love this so much. And then, of course, we have the shoes with the slouch socks here. Um, I, that's what I wore a lot. I didn't really wear too much leg warmers. I wore more slouch socks, which were the oversized big socks that could have might as well been leg warmers. They were like huge. Huge. They were big. Um, but anyways, this is what we have for her second look here. And then her formal wear. Again, we have this bright purple and it's more of a mini skirt dress. And then we have her athletic, which is so cute. We have the spandex look going on with this. Um, this is how the athletic wear. This was the athletic wear. Now, I never wore this stuff. I wore regular shorts and a t-shirt, guys. I don't know who wore this, but it wasn't me. Um, I, I swear it was only in TV shows and movies that they wore these. But anyways, here she is with the slouch socks and yeah, her sweatband was a thing. Oh, I do have wristbands. I forgot to put on her um, there to match her, her um, headband was the sweatbands um, for the wrists. Uh, but that's her exercise. And then here is her pajamas, just a tie dyed long oversized t-shirt. Here is her party wear. Now I did dress her kind of more towards like the Madonna type look. There was definitely several different distinct looks in the 80s. One of which was the Madonna look with the lacy gloves and all the bracelets and all the necklaces. Now, unfortunately with the this game you can't have multiple you can't have the wrist and these lacy gloves these actually are on the wrist slot so we are unable to do both of those so that's just what we got but we got the lacy gloves and the uh, uh, jean jacket we also would wear with a t-shirt and yeah fit, here's the fishnet stockings and our mini skirt now i did give her this choker we didn't re really wear too much chokers that was more in the 90s i feel like but I put it on her anyways because I thought, I thought she looked really cute. And I really didn't have any necklaces for this decade that really would fit. I did look for like jelly necklaces and stuff and I didn't see them or multiple necklaces and just couldn't find them. A lot of the things that I wanted and I just had stuck in my mind because I grew up in the 80s, I just could not find. It just was not available. I was a little bit sad about that. And then here is her swimwear. We had the high-waisted bathing suit. It's actually a bikini. It's more of a camisole top. Um, probably anything would really work in this this decade. Now here is her hot weather. I really like this. I, got, I wanted to fit in that neon green because that neon green was so big in the 80s uh, with the hot pink and everything. So we gave her this little mini skirt and this top is actually two pieces and the pumps to match. That is how she's looking. She looks nice and cool. And then, of course, she's got the pink, the hot pink eyeshadow. <laughs> um, but anyways, I think she looks really cute. And then here is her cold weather wear, which I really think is cute. That spandex. I swear I had spandex that looked just like this. Um, but anyways, in a mini skirt and this jacket, I thought she looks really cute. Uh, but yeah, there she is. There is Angie. And everything that you see today, I will try and have up on the website if it's not not up right when this video goes live today it will be this weekend so keep an eye out for that and then I didn't do anything for these little kids because I had just aged them up and I had basically already dressed them for the 80s so I didn't change anything with them okay so just really quick I wanted to show you guys I did change just a couple of things in this house I was gonna do the entire house and I ran out of time and ran out of motivation um but it's a pretty large house I just I just I, I couldn't do it um I did get rid of all the baby stuff and I moved them 
uh, over. So this is little Jeffrey's room and this is little Stephanie's room right here. Obviously, I just, I just got, this is the point where I got, I can't do anymore. Um, I started here in Angie's room. I, so I moved Angie's room over here to Catherine's and I wanted it to look a little different. Not that we're gonna be here for very much longer, but I did, I was really happy. I found this and again, this will be on the website, but I found this canopy bed. I just had to have it because when I was growing up in the 80s, I actually had a bed like this, um, similar to this. It was lavender color, but it was white like this. And I love that thing. I love that canopy. Canopy beds were a big thing in the 80s. Like a couple of my best friends had them as well. I had one. I just, I had to have one for this game and I found it and I thought it looked really cute. It does only come in this pink, but then there's like four colors of different, like there's a, a brown color of wood. Like the wood is the only thing that changes and it is a set. So again, I'll have that all up on the website, but um, we just changed it to this in her closet and then her little desk. Now the desk is not a part that is actually a game um, game deck. Uh, I don't know what pack it came with. Made have been university, but that is that. I just made it pink and then this little rug and I changed the curtains to this sheer color. And then I also stuck up a bunch of um, posters and these movie posters that I found that are iconic to the 80s. Oh my God, Breakfast Club, E.T. Yes, Weird Science, all of these Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, I remember these also well. But that's all I did with their house. That's all that I changed. I just wanted to show you guys this cute bed i was just like oh my god this bed is adorable i'm thinking that maybe when angie ages up into an adult or young adult i may move her in here and this might become her house and then i might just change it over that'll probably be will probably be in the 90s closer to the 90s at that point i don't know but anyways that is that okay so here we are with felicia and zach and this is how felicia is looking these days so i gave her the shorter hairstyle and it is more permed curly that was definitely a big style in the 80s uh was the shorter curly even long the long spiral perms i had a long spiral perm think she looks really cute we've got her makeup looking nice and bright but for since she's an adult she's got like five or six days i think or something to she's an elder so i dressed her a little bit more mature so this is the top that we chose it's like off the shoulder the nice purple and the high-waisted pants that's the way they wore their where our jeans were very high-waisted when i was in school it was called pegging but um yeah and then i just gave her these boots that is how her every day is looking i think i only gave her one yeah i only gave her one here is her formal and it's very bright i wanted to get them bright colors in because that's what the 80s were all about we were bright and in excess everything was over the top and bright um so that is her formal here is her athletic which i really think is so cute again this is their exercise that spandex was a big thing this is her sleepwear nothing fancy here is her party we've got like a little mini skirt more of like a suit you know jacket kind of going on with her and some of course these um pumps and then here is her swim now i didn't i couldn't i didn't want to put the same bathing suit on as i had for angie and i didn't have anything else because i couldn't find any real bathing suits for the 80s so i just took one from the 70s and colored it a brighter color and then here is her hot weather we've got some high-waisted shorts uh, jean shorts and a comfy loose top and her um shoes of course these are velcro shoes because velcro was a big thing in the 80s and our slouch socks of course and then here is her cold weather again these are high-waisted jeans that are cuffed and everything i think she looks really really cute so that's felicia and then here is zach now zach did age up into an elder so he is just starting in his elderhood so i dressed it dressed him a little bit older and more nice i put slacks on him dress pants or whatever and a nice sweater for his everyday here's his formal 
I just kind of, you know, I get Miami Vice vibes from him. I don't know why. I did change his haircut to this more receding. I did gray it a little bit in his beard. And then here is his athletic. Again, I struggle with the athletic. We just got t-shirt and sweats, you know, track pants. They were a thing then. So, and then here is his peach. I actually, this is from before. I just kept it. I didn't change anything. Here's his party. Kind of a nice, you know, sweater and nice shirt and tie. And then here is his swimwear um here is his hot weather again a polo which were big in the 80s and some nice dress shorts and then here's his cold weather just a sweater and some dress pants uh i think he looks really handsome here why do they put makeup on him i swear my game adds things to th the this after i have already done this he's not had any makeup on that it just added that so that is zach and then of course we have little Gwen, which I had showed already in a previous episode. Now I did age up her brother, Camilio. Camilio, I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly, but that's what I'm saying, his name is Camilo. So the, I aged him up into a toddler because he was past time and he looks like the spitting image of his dad, Zach. He looks just like Zach to me. They both got his skin tone, which I'm fine with, but this is his little everyday. I think he's really cute. I just, this is what the game gave him, this hair. I just kept it because in the 80s, it was little boy's hair was a little bit longer. Um, here is his formal, here is his sleepwear, here is his party, and here is his um, swimwear, and here is his hot weather. And here is his cold weather. So that is how Felicia's family has turned out. I think they look really cute. I think they look much more modern. We're gonna go, go ahead and jump over to Catherine and their her family. Um, I just wanted to know, I did not do anything with their house. I didn't touch it. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is that on a future live stream over on Twitch, and I will got, let you guys know when it will be, but I'm thinking I'm going to build her a bigger house somewhere here in Henford and Bagley and yeah we're gonna build them like a big more bigger farmhouse type a house to fit all of the kids and everybody in when Susan passes away so that'll be in the next couple of weeks and I will do that all live so if you guys are interested in that make sure to look out for that notification I will let you guys probably know in the community tab and also probably be via Twitter so if you don't follow me on Twitter then you want to know about this live stream you you should definitely follow me on Twitter then. So we're gonna go ahead now and jump into Catherine's family. Okay, so with Catherine here, I did them last. I made their, did their makeovers last and I kind of wish I would have done this with the other ones, but I have left the first outfit as their old outfit. This is what she had before to show you kind of like a before and after. Um, I wish I would have done it with the other ones, but it was already too late. I hadn't done that. But um, so this was her before. <laughs> My God, she is very big. She's definitely got to be having twins. And so this is her before. Now here I had trouble with her. Let me explain with her. I had trouble with my custom content especially not looking right it just because her belly is so large it didn't fit right you, you can kind of see here that it does the same thing so um some of the outfits i picked for her don't look quite right but i know she's going to be having future babies so i figured we will go ahead and make them anyways because she's going to be having this baby in the next episode i'm sure um but let me just show you here is her first outfit i did a couple outfits for her so we changed her hair we changed her hair to this we got a side ponytail here with the scrunchie you can see she is a young adult so she's still quite young um but we got the bright we got the bright pink and it's not as bright as some of the others maybe because she's pregnant she's tired she doesn't want to put the effort in she's, she's tired but i had trouble finding hair the really long hair especially the alpha hair like to clip in her top so it didn't look right but this one doesn't look too bad actually it's pretty cute so um we went with this one and then her outfit we have some nice comfy spandex now you probably wouldn't be wearing spandex when you're pregnant because it would be tight right but we got it anyway and then this top and then of course our slouch socks this is her one outfit this next one is the one that i i really like this one for her we've got the bib overhauls but we have them down they're not up because maybe she's just they're too tight and too 
too constraining. So we've got the sweater, the pink sweater with the rainbow and the off the shoulder and these um, a bit of overalls. I know my sister-in-law was pregnant in the 80s, the mid eight to, to late 80s, and she wore a lot of bib overalls during her pregnancy. So I, th that's where I got the inspiration from. And of course, we've got the pegged pants and then our Velcro shoes. But I think she looks pretty cute. And then here is her formal. Uh, that was her before. And now here is her after we gave her it's similar. It's the high ponytail and it's very poofy, but it's not off to the side. Yeah, I switched between this one and the last one you just saw. The maternity dresses in the 80s were like these big pullovers that would have straps like this. Maybe not quite like this, but they were similar. So that's where I got the idea from, but they were just like these big pullover dresses. Some of you that, you know, either your mom was pregnant in the 80s or, you know, you've seen pictures, you, you probably know what I'm talking about but they were just like a basic pullover and then her sports outfit I just left the same I didn't do anything with that I'm probably not gonna even see her I may change some of change some of this down the road when she has future babies and then here's just her sleepwear which is just this simple little nightgown and then here is her party so I thought that bib overalls looked really really cute on her now the only thing I don't like about this is that her sides are showing because it's a tight you know smaller top but whatever we'll just ignore that I think she looks really cute and then I think I put on a brighter purple that bright purple eye makeup and a bright pink a lipstick and then here is her swimwear we just went with this one here is her hot weather we went with these little shorts i think she looks really cute in this but here is her winter wear i think she looks so cute i went as bright as i could so for winter wear moon boots were a big thing moon boots had come out in the 80s and we wore them and these were the closest i could get to moon boots these actually came with the game i think snowy escape um so yeah, that's what we went with. And then these pants, it's all base game. This is all came with a pack or base game or something. We amped it up with the bright colors. I think she looks adorable in this. This is super cute. And then of course we have her eye makeup that is super bright. She's so pretty. That is how Catherine has turned out. So this is Tyrell. This is how Tyrell looked before. Um, him, as you might remember. And now this is the new Tyrell. I just saw if he's a po going to school for politician, I felt like he would be more cleaner cut. So we uh, trimmed the afro down to this. Now, I really, in the 80s, the iconic hairstyle for black men and some women actually um, was the jerry curl, but I could not find very many that looked good. Um, so I just went with this one. Oh, I also did have, um, I took it off because I wanted to show his before, but I did put um, a hair on him, facial hair. I've decided to give him some facial hair. So he's got a little scruffy there. I think he looks really handsome. He's so cute, but this is his every day. So we've got this sweater and then we got some nice dress pants and some loafers. Here is his formal, just a nice suit. And then here is his athletic it what uh, this is just a track suit so we want with its custom content and then here is his sleep weather just t-shirt and some pants and then here is his party we just got like a blazer and a collared shirt with a sweater over it and our pegged jeans I think he looks really handsome in this and then here is his swimwear I just wanted to fit that neon green in his trunk so we did and then here is his hot weather I just think he looks so clean cut like he looks like he would be either business politician lawyer or something he looks nice clean cut which is what I wanted to go with we didn't go crazy with him and then here is his cold weather here is Maria this is her before this is her before look we did take off the skin here's what she looks like now here we go we went with a shorter hairstyle like a bob yes she's got all her wrinkles intact <laughs> um, but we did go with this bob with the little bangs and it's completely gray now I feel like Maria is a very stylish sim so I did put jeans on her and I did put the cuffed jeans on her and gave her some flats and a blazer and I wanted to fit in that bright color of the 80s so we have that little pop of the uh fuchsia there or hot pink whatever you want to call it and then here is her formal again this is her old lady dress <laughs> here is her athletic 
I just left it the same, uh, just changed her hair. Here is her sleepwear. I gave her an old granny dress. That's right, nightgown, I should say. This reminded me, it just reminded me of an old granny kind of nightgown. Here's her party. Again, we got the blazer and a like pencil type skirt. And yeah, so there's that. I think she looks very stylish. And then of course I gave her the same bathing suit as I did Susan. It's kind of what all my older lady sims have on. And then the same as Susan, just a pullover dress, but a different color. And then here is her winter wear. We gave her some hiking boots with the cuff pants and this jacket. I think she looks, I think she looks cute. Does it look 80s? I don't know. I tried to fit in the pieces and there we are. <laughs> That's how she turned out. So that is the little family. I think they look really, really cute. Cute. <laughs> She's so big. And here she is sitting down to do some play some chess. But um, so I didn't change anything with her house because we had just moved in. And I will probably, as we get more money and as we grow as a family, I'll probably change how things look. But for now, everything is the same. And oh, I'm gonna have to take that whole outfit out, but um, yeah, so that is basically all that we have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also, don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Mm, bye.